You guys remember episode 3, right before Toe Bitch was about to shoot up Shido and Breadcoon? Do you know what Toka was saying? Toka was saying, am I even allowed to be here? Questioning if her existence even allowed. What if something happens and Shido says it's fine, I'll take care of it all. What if the unexpected happens? We'll do it together. I need a place to stay and eat. Don't worry, I got it. I'll take responsibility. And if everyone rejects you, I'll just accept you even more. These are his actual fucking lines. And the last episode, the fuck? Toka arrives and then... And then Shiro's like, what is she doing here, Kotori? What? What? Where did- Huh? Is episode 3 all that line just bullshit? Was he lying? Because the moment that Toka appeared at his place, he started getting really annoyed. The fact that she has to even like share the bathroom or just his, his like house with him. Where? I, I was actually complimenting Shiro a lot in episode 3. During that moment, talking to Toka, reassuring her that her existence here is fine and valid. And I was like, damn. This is a mature main character. What What's going on? But I guess it was all a lie. Unless it wasn't, but I guess it was a lie. Let's begin today's reaction. <gasps> Bread! Bread couldn't survive? Did we get her another one? Oh. That's actually still so ridiculous that it's, it's bread. Bro, it's a bread. <laughs> that, that counts as a kiss? I guess it, we did graze her lips. But it didn't seal her powers. Why? Because the kiss wasn't too direct enough? <laughs> That's where she gets on it. Lollipop. <laughs> it's like... Choco Vanilla, please. Dude, that guy fucking loves getting hit by her. Dude, like... He moans every time he gets hit. Yoshino... Oh! What are you doing, Yoshino? Why are you... Is she just garbage diving? Wait. Where's your... She lost it. It's not here anymore? Oh no! Because Toka took it off, remember? And then she transformed. It's just gone? Dude, she lost it after the AST attack! Fuck the AST! They suck! You know what AST stands for? Ass! Sucks! Team! Yeah, that's right! Ass suck team! Okay, someone also said in the comments, but the puppet's Yoshinon. And she is Yoshino, but technically, it's the same fucking per- How the puppet can't talk? It's a puppet! What do you mean? It's her talking through ventriloquism, but... This is anime, so maybe they are two different people. I don't know, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> She's like, you got me an umbrella? Thank you, oh god! Oh, this token lolly fan service, man. It's a puppet, it can't be your- He's a hero. Yeah? Your ideal. Huh. So maybe... Yoshino is true ideal, you know, is Yoshinon. So she kind of like interfaces through the puppet and like is able to um, have an outlet to be that kind of persona, is my understanding. There's no way it's an actual separate person, right? Oh, look at her get so shy and embarrassed. Oh, she's actually so cute. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He made ramen for her? Damn. Okay. But when Toko arrives, this is not gonna go well. We, we gotta stall Toko at Danny's, man. Umai! Oishi. <laughs> this shit's so good! Mm, this shit bussin'! <laughs> that animation was pretty funny. Head pats, please. <gasps> Head pats! Why did she blush like that was some kind of lewd head pat? Okay. You got me. Is that what he's gonna say? Oh, dude, stop it, but. What Toka, dude? What about Toka? Hmm. His internal siscon instincts are kicking in. Hmm? Don't mention the kiss. That was an accident. She fucking fell on you. I don't think she even understands what a kiss is. Hey, stop! 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 Oh, God! It's not what it looks like! No! Why? 
Why did Ra Why didn't you stall her long enough? Oh, she can just disappear. Toka, it's not like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, leave bread, Kunalo. <laughs> it's her punching bread. Oh God. Toby. <laughs> Toby just opens it immediately. Who is this? She don't. Boom. Interference jamming. Oh. Interesting. Tobichi just has like jamming interference, I guess. <laughs> Immediately. She was there waiting the entire time. Did she just put that on? Do you usually wear this? Wh what are you wearing? Uh huh. I don't think she minds at all. I, I think she enjoys it. In fact, that that tea has a mysterious aura coming around. Maybe we shouldn't drink it. You trying to kill us? Could you imagine if Toka shows up here and then gets cucked again? Tobich, what are you doing? No go. Wait, was that some aphrodisiac? Did she literally just grind a Viagra and put in that tea? This is Call Me by Tobichi. I mean, sorry, uh, her first name. What is it again? I forget. Oh, Alright, origami. Origami is such a, you know, paper folding art, right? It's interesting her name is that. That's it? I thought you were going to ask something else. Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Wait, 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 wait! Focus on the plot! Where did we get the Yoshino? Nice jump. What was the... <laughs> Is she inviting us? Like, did she jump so that we could see her panties? Oh, I... Okay. <laughs> nice ass. But we gotta get Yoshino! Focus on the plot! What are we doing? Bring it on. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> hey yo, Origami is kind of a freak. I kind of like it though. Yo, she, he definitely drank aphrodisiac. Oh no, Yoshino! Now, hear me out. Imagine a scene where you know Origami and Shido are having sex, but Yoshino is not in the bed. Would Yoshino be able to see in the entire thing and be like just observing the entire? T Hello. If there's one thing that's good about Origami is that she doesn't get flustered and she's just directly in your face. Cause like with Toka and everyone else, if you would ever happen, she would just kick you in the face immediately, right? Not even ASTHK. The interference jamming, not even ASTHQ. But why does she have something that's better in the HQ? The only way for her to empathize and stop seeing everything in such absolutes is for her to actually befriend one. Okay, that was a bullshit backstory. Bro, her pet right in front of her! Bro, no, 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 that's distance! Are you fucking kidding me? You could have stepped aside like 10 to- Nuh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, you shot us dead. That's a good question. How the fuck did he do that? Go back! Don't avoid the question! Spirits with bad intentions. That's a good point. Because we've only met two spirits so far in their kind. An actual, intently evil spirit? That'd be super interesting. Uh, I bet she would attack. Not what I desire. Superior. Who are these AST superiors? Because we haven't seen the leader of the AST yet. Why? They're intentionally hiding that from us. Whoa. <laughs> She's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, uh, we should get going too. Wait, grab the puppet, Yoshino! Leave the poor spirit alone. Fucking ass sucking team! AST! Ass sucking team! I got nothing against eating ass, by the way. Please, somebody save her. Angel. The big rabbit monster, right? One thing that's different is you know how this is an angel? 
and the equivalent of that to Toka is um, what was Sandro Sandro Fan I think, but that's a sword. But you know Toka actually says something extra, Adonai Merkel, and then it's the armor that comes out. Then it goes Sandal Fan, and then she can also cut you know the sheet that came out of it and involve even more. She probably can do something even more to that, right? Yo, these guns are actually so useless. <laughs> Yo, AFC needs to get some upgrades, man. Their guns don't do shit. Yoshinon. Yes. Who? Who is this? Fuck you, so bitch! Ah! And you got to tell me that Toby's gonna get better in the future, and then I'll change my mind. It's only like five episodes in, right? But God, she is such a villain so far. And I get it where her motivation is coming from. Her parents died, therefore all spirits are evil. But God damn, man. No more cool transformations. But Shiro can die, and he can get another chance. It should be fine, right? I don't know why he can continue, or how many times a day can he continue. Is it really? Maybe she can break the seal somehow. No, we're taking it. It looked like something shielded him, though. Huh? Sandalfun. Oh, dude, Toka's theme. This theme song is so good. Can Shido use Sandalfun? Could you imagine this? Takes it out. Oh, she got partial armor on. It's just the, the purple fluff. No, I think it's completely reasonable. Like, I don't think Toka's being unreasonable, to be honest. I, I do love this theme song, though. Every time there's a Toka moment, this theme plays, man. It's so good. Please save Yoshino! Yes, it's a poor cute girl! Please save her! You're more precious. No, 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 no! You're more precious! Mm -hmm. Lend me your power. Toka doesn't have full powers right now. When he says, lend me your power... Because, like, can Shiro fight? Can he pull out Sandal Phone and start fighting? Wouldn't that be amazing? I like it when Toka does it too, though. You can just ride that? Like a surfboard? Yeah? Also, why does the ass-sucking team only hire girls to fight? Like, why do they all gotta be mecha girls? No, stop it! Stop it! Why are you trying so hard? Dude, like, what the fuck? Okay, Toka, Toka! That's Sandal phone attack. Ooh. But still, it's, it's, it's like the uniform and the armor have kind of like merged together. Because the because like the armor has the pink fluff, right? But it's still school uniform. That's pretty cool. Oh. So the Sandal phone sheep can fly. Okay. The fucking fuck. <laughs> so he has to walk to his death. Oh shit. Yeah, this is different. Maybe he'll be fine. But even Kotori is worried. Spirit Force. Some s They're explaining a little bit more about the mechanics, but right now, if he walks into this, this is looking pretty bad. E That's an Oni-chan, dude. Yoshino's here? Shido's looking pretty rough, though. Dude, I bet that by the time he gets there, he's probably already dead. Damn. He did this for her. It's healing, though. It's healing. Did it heal because faster because Yoshino touched him? Even before, Toka's jacket being on top of Shido was what kind of like healed him. Right, I think? Or at least it burned up. Oh. We promise we'd be your hero! No, these are tears of happiness. Oh. How could the ass-sucking team do such horrible things to her, man? What is wrong with them? What? Well, we're, not, we're not gonna kiss her. Okay, this is... I, I don't know about this, guys. I, I don't know. Look, look, we can't be going around kissing lollies, man. I, 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 I... I if you think about it, he's 16... 
Let's look beyond that. Let's look beyond that. Yeah. Okay. So her power is sealed now, right? <laughs> Give her some clothes, please. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm gonna be in the FBI watch list if I post this shit online. Mm. <laughs> why is she naked? Oh, why does he got your jacket on? <laughs> Remember, you got naked too, Toka. Come on. <laughs> Wait, if this was Kohei, he'd be going, Oh! <laughs> Damn, Kotori being worried like this. Usually whenever she's in this commander form, she doesn't show this side, right? This dead side, it's all just Sun, but... That's rare. This is extremely rare, seeing Kotori like that. I'm surprised Toka isn't saying some shit like... <laughs> what? What about me? I think there was a missed opportunity when Shido was about to walk into Yoshino and despite all the blizzard and the cold stuff going on, he was about to suppose like repeatedly die but then barely get there in time. And it should have been an epic moment but they kind of skipped it. It would have been really cool if they just like actually animated Shido walking slowly and just getting hurt but still pushing on. I think that's a missed opportunity but I get what they're trying to do, right? That was pretty cool with Shido. Now, we got... A lolly, we got Toka. I think we got more spirits coming in, right? A special one called Kurumi that I think everybody knows about, right? I didn't even know about this show, and now I knew who Kurumi is because of how popular she is. Now, we got a little bit more plot too. The way about spirit force and how he can regenerate something, because you saw when Yoshino touched Shiro by the time you got there, the flaming effect started to happen again. Is it because of a spirit's contact with Shido that he's able to just heal? So the more contact he has with the spirit, the better his healing is. His powers are pretty mysterious and they haven't really explained anything about why he has his powers. And the ass-sucking team. Who leads them? What's going on? Why did Tobichi have better HQ jamming device than the AST HQ, right? What's, what's going on? More secrets that we'll see later on. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.